Hello students, let's discuss about transplantation immunology. Transplantation is the implantation of cells, tissues, or organs from one individual, a donor, to another, a recipient. It has vast application in medicine where individuals with defective organs or tissues could be treated with transplantation. Organs are usually acquired from accident victims or from voluntary living donors. However, the demand for organs for transplantation is much higher than the number of donors. Another challenge in transplantation is that the immune system is well developed to fight against any foreign agents, and this also applies for the grafts from other individuals. Grafts are treated as foreign agents by the host and thus induce an elaborate graft rejection. Transplantation is most successful in cases where the donor and the recipients have identical genotypes, like identical twins. Therefore, typing of the donor and recipient for compatibility is essential for transplantation. Another important aspect of transplantation is the use of varieties of immunosuppressive drugs which aids in survival of the grafts. Types of transplants. There are different types of transplantation and the amount of immune response differs with the type of transplantation. The major types of transplantations are autograft. It is the transplantation of cell body tissues from one side to another in the same individual. For example, transferring of healthy skin tissues from one side to the burn areas in burn patients. Isografts. It is the transfer of tissues or organs between genetically identical individuals. For example, transplantation between monozygotic identical twins. Allografts. It is the transfer of tissues or organs between genetically different individuals from the same species. In humans, the transfer of tissues from one individual to another other than the identical twins is allograft transplantation. Genograft. It is the transfer of tissues or organs from one species to another. For example, transplantation of baboon's heart to a human. In autografts and isografts, the donor and the recipient are genetically identical. The grafts are treated as self by the recipient's immune system and therefore it has the most successful transplantation. In allograft, the donor and the recipients are genetically different and therefore the host immune system recognizes the allograft as foreign essence and elicits a high immune response. In genografts, the genetic disparity between the donor and the recipient is large and therefore vigorous graft rejection is observed. Immunological basis of graft rejection Allograft is the most common form of transplantation depending on the availability of donors. However, allografts are treated as foreign by the recipient's immune system and it often faces the challenge of graft rejection. The degree of graft rejection depends on the tissue type. Graft rejection has the characteristics of specificity and memory. During a primary allograft transplantation of skin, revascularization takes place in the graft region by 3 to 7 days. But later, there is infiltration of lymphocytes, monocytes, neutrophils, and other inflammatory cells. 
This causes decreased vasculature by 7 days, tissue necrosis by 10 days, and complete graft resection by 12 to 14 days. This is called the first set resection, and during this stage, immunologic memory develops. If a second graft is transferred to the same host, a heightened immune response completely rejects the graft within 5 to 6 days. This is called second set rejection. And this quick immune response is attributed to the immunologic memory. It has been demonstrated by many experiments that the major cells involved in allograft rejection are the T cells. In an experiment with newt mice which lack the thymus and functional T cell population, it has been shown that they are incapable of allograft rejection. They are also found to accept xenografts. Analysis of the T-cell population in the allograft resection has shown involvement of both CD4-positive and CD8-positive T-cells. Typing of donor and recipient for compatibility Compatibility of the donor and recipient tissues are essential for allograft transplantation. Otherwise, a vigorous immune response leads to graft resection. Tissue compatibility is determined by the antigenic similarity between the donor and the recipient tissues. Tissues that share similar antigenic determinants are said to be histocompatible. More than 40 different loci in the human genome encodes protein that determines histocompatibility of which the loci responsible for most vigorous graft resection is located in the major histocompatibility complex or MSC, also called the human leukocyte antigen or HLA. The loci in the MSC are closely linked and are usually inherited as a set called haplotype from its parents. Therefore, an offspring will have one haplotype it's inherited from their parents and they will have only 50% similarity with their parents. Among the siblings, the similarity is much lesser. The ABO blood group and the MSC are the main factors responsible for graft resection and therefore typing of the blood group and MSC are usually done to check the compatibility between the donor and the recipient. ABO blood group Testing is usually carried out by agglutination tests. HLA typing of potential donor and a recipient can be carried out by microcytotoxicity tests. This test can indicate the presence or absence of various MSC alleles in the donor and the recipient and matching can be done among them. Another technique called the one-way mixed lymphocyte reaction or MLR can be used to quantify the degree of class 2 MSC compatibility between potential donors and recipients. MLR is a better typing method for tissue compatibility than microcytotoxicity typing as it gives a better indication of the degree of T helper cell activation generated in response to the class 2 MSC antigen of the potential graph. However, it takes a long time to generate the MLR data. Therefore, in cases where the potential donor is a cadaver which needs to be used within limited period of time, microcytotoxicity typing is a better option as it generates the data much faster. After the MSC matching, tissue rejection can still occur due to another factor called minor histocompatibility loci. Though the tissue rejection response induced by minor histocompatibility loci is milder, it can still cause graft rejection. Therefore, allograft transplantation is often accompanied with immunosuppression to accelerate graft survival. Mechanism of cell-mediated graft rejection The primary cells involved in graft rejection are the T cells, the CD4-positive and the CD8-positive T lymphocytes. 
about the delayed type hypersensitivity reaction mediated by CD4 positive T cells and cell mediated cytotoxicity of CD8 positive T cells are implicated in graft resection. The process of graft resection involves two phases, the sensitization phase and the effector phase. In the sensitization phase, the LO antigen present on the graft cells are recognized by the T cells and causes its proliferation. The measured antigens recognized by the T cells are the measured and the minor histocompatibility antigens present on the grafted cells. The antigen presenting cells or the APCs endocytose the foreign antigens and present it to the host T helper cells. The major APCs in graft are the dendritic cells which constitutively express large number of class II MSC molecules. Recognition of these LO antigens lead to vigorous proliferation of T cells. In the effector phase, the major mechanism of graft resections are delayed type hypersensitivity reactions or DTH and CTL mediated cytotoxicity. Complement mediated lysis and antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity or ADCC also play significant role in graft resection. DTH is marked by activation of T helper cells and infiltration of microphages in the graft region. Microphages release lytic enzymes and oxygen and nitrogen free radicals, which causes destruction of the grafted cells. The cytokines secreted by the T helper cells also play a significant role in graft resection. For example, interleukin 2 induces T cell proliferation, interferon gamma induces recruitment of microphages in the graft region, TNF beta have direct cytotoxic effect on the graft cells. Types of graft resection Graft resection could be of three different types hyperacute graft resection, acute graft resection, and chronic graft resection. Hyperacute graft resection occurs within 24 hours of transplantation. It is mainly due to pre existing antibodies against the graft antigens present in the recipient system. The formation of the antigen antibody complex causes complement activation. The complement split products causes influx of large number of neutrophils in the graft region and thus destruction of the graft by the inflammatory reactions. The development of pre-existing antibody could be because of various reasons. For example, Repeated blood transfusion can induce development of antibodies against MSC present on the blood cells of the transfused blood. Acute graft resection occurs within few weeks of transplantation. It is mediated through DTH reaction as mentioned before. Histopathological examination of the acute graft resection shows massive infiltration of macrophages and T lymphocytes in the graft region. Chronic graft resection occurs months or years after transplantation. Its mechanism involves both humoral and cell mediated immune response. In most of the allografts, the matching between the donor and the recipient is not always 100% and the survival of the graft is mainly facilitated by the use of immunosuppressive drugs. Immunosuppressive drugs enhance short-term survival of grafts but not the long-term survival. Hence, the recipient develops chronic graft resection which may need another transplantation.
Immunosuppressive therapy. Immunosuppressive drugs facilitate graft survival in the allograft transplantation. However, most of these drugs are not specific and cause a generalized immunosuppression. Therefore, the recipients are often at risk of infection. Some of the common immunosuppressive drugs are mitotic inhibitors like azathioprine, cyclophosphamide, methotrexate, which inhibits T cell proliferation, corticosteroids like prinisone, dexamethasone, which suppresses inflammation, fungal metabolites like cyclosporin A, FK506, rifamycin, which inhibits T cell activation. Prolonged use of these immunosuppressive drugs causes many side effects, including cancer, hypertension, kidney toxicity, metabolic bone diseases, etc. Some of the more specific newly developed immunosuppressive drugs are monoclonal antibodies against various surface antigens on T cells like CD3, ICAMS, LFA1, etc., which causes T cell destruction through ADCC. Monoclonal antibodies against cytokines like TNF alpha, interferon gamma, and interleukin 2, which inhibits T cell proliferation and activation. Co stimulatory signal blockers like CTLA4, IZ, which induces energy to T cells. Monoclonal antibody against CD40 ligand, which also induces T cell energy. As a conclusion, I would like to say that transplantation of various organs, tissues, and cells has vast application in medical science. The sources of the graph could be autograph, isograph, allograph, and genograph. With increase in the genetic disparity between the donor and the recipient, there is increase in the degree of graft rejection. Vigorous immune response will occur if proper matching is not done between the donor and the recipient before transplantation. Donor to recipient matching is done for the ABO blood group antigen and the MSC antigen in allograft transplantation as they serve as the major antigen for graft rejection. The major mechanism of graft rejection is the delayed type hypersensitivity reaction involving T helper cells and macrophages. Supplementation of transplantation with immunosuppressive drugs can enhance short term graft survival, but in chronic graft rejection, it may not help much. Thank you.